Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We're talking about counters. Last time we talked about asynchronous counter, we counted up. Today we want to count down. We make a countdown and see what we need to change. Let's remember, this was, this was the counter for going up. And the downwards counter looking pretty much the same. So we draw it once again. With the same the same behavior, yeah. So we have our four flip flops chain of our four flip flops. Do it again with four bit counter. Here we go. This is our flip flop. We have again our toggle input. Dynamic toggle input. We have again our Q and not Q. Here we have again the output. Here comes the counter. This is the thing I want to count, which is going down. Yeah. We have again our static S and R lines. Yeah. So S and R, S and R, S and R, S and R which overrule the counter input yeah? and we have our reset line. To reset the counter to zero. Once on R comes a signal, everything is zero, right? So we have here Q0. Q1, Q2, Q3. Rising edge triggered everything as before. Everything as before. And, yeah, but everything as before. What is changing? Well, we change that we go directly from here to the next one. This is the difference. You see, the upwards counter was always going from not Q. And now we're going from Q, right? So let's see what is happening. First rising edge here. Yeah? Let's see, this is our initial condition. First rising edge here. Book, we will switch. Chuck upwards. Oh, we have here rising edge. Book, we will switch upwards. Oh, we have here rising edge. Booch, we will switch upwards. Oh, we have here a rising edge. Book, we will switch. All flip flops are switching. All flip flops are switching. And here we would have an even have here the overflow. Huh? Overflow. The overflow line. Huh? So what actually is happening? That we switch directly to one, 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 one. Which is decimal? 15. <laughs> but now let's see what the second rising edge is doing. Second rising edge, uh -huh, this will switch down again. The other stay. The other stay. So we will have here 0, 1, 1, 1, which is decimal 14. Ooh, now it's getting interesting. Now, C, rising edge, switch up again, Took so we have here one, wrong color, one, yeah. we have here rising edge, we'll also switch, so we have a zero, the others will stay. This is 13, ah, looking good, looking already pretty good, right? So, next one, Took up, down, yeah, zero, everything else stays the same. Well, 
<clears throat> let's see if this is working also with the next digit. So here switch book up rising edge. Here have one. Yeah. Switch switch switching to one. Switch switching to one. <laughs> switching to one. Yeah. Ooh, rising edge. Yeah. Ooh, this will also toggle. Zero. This is not talking because we're switching down. This is no rising edge here. One. Eleven. Hey, look at that. Look at that. This is really working. Okay. Next one. Switching to zero. This is nothing. Nothing much will happen. Ten. Switching to book. Switching to one. This will talk as well because we switched to one. Zero. Yeah. They don't get anything. Yeah. Nine. We're really counting downwards and so on and so on. Yeah. So we will always toggle here zero one zero one zero one zero one. All right. And every time we switch to one, this will toggle as well. Every time this is switching to one, this will also toggle. Yeah, so here. And every time this is switching to one, this will also toggle. So we're having here nine, eight, seven, uh, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. What is happening with one? Set. Toggle down. Nothing is changing. So boom, we will switch to zero again. So this is indeed a down, a downward counter. Okay. This is counting downward. Cool, huh? This is really cool. Uh, so we can do upwards and we can count downwards. So here again, S and R. Static input. Overruling. T input. And T. The magnetic dynamic dog input. Those things are very similar. Yeah? Sometimes it would be interesting to count up or down. Okay, so we could do it like this. I will only draw two of those digits, then you will see how this is working. Yeah? So I make a little bit zoom. Yeah? This here is one flip-flop. Let's say it's the first one. So we have the toggle input. We have Q, we have not Q. We have the main, the default position. Yeah. We have here the C line. At the first one, there is no difference. All right, and now, we have the S and R lines again. And now I simply am simply using here this is QX, whatever. I'm simply using two end elements. Here is the next the next flip-flop. What is, shall happen in between? Well, I need to connect from here to here somehow. So I make here one end element and I make here one end element. I make this end element to block things. All right. So one time I'm going in here and this will toggle. Here we need an OR. Here 
this will go here and on the other side we will use this one and now let's have one input yeah? I call it u for up I want to count up so if u is true I need to use this one and if u is not true I need to use this one yeah so with the u line the r line is not affected with u1 I'm counting upwards yeah and so on this is always the same pop 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 yeah uh, with u1 here count up u equals zero count down yeah. this is an up down counter this thing here yeah. this is an up down counter simply by selecting in which direction we want to go asynchronous counters upwards counter downwards counter up down counter uh, sometimes we want to connect this directly to a display okay seven segment display or whatever uh, and then we usually use decimal system then this comes naturally with hexadecimal yeah, four digits, 16, 16 possibilities, hexadecimal system. However, if I want to connect a display right away, yeah, right away display without processing the, the, the value, then it would be interesting to count in PCT. So just count to nine and then already start with zero again or downwards, go from nine already to zero. Yeah, or from, from 0 to 9 and not to 15 yeah. so this needs to be handled somehow yeah. and this we uh, will look have a look into how we can handle these things yeah. how to make a PCD counter next video for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye